That's from one of my favorite praise songs that we do here in worship at Trinity Lutheran Church in Hawthorne. Come Now is the Time to Worship by Brian Dorkson. I'll link that down below so you can uh, look it up on YouTube on his site. It's a great song. It calls us to get ready to worship, to prepare our hearts and realize that it's not just time to, to be quiet or be religious. It's time to worship. We'll be doing that song this coming Sunday, March 22nd, 2015, the fifth Sunday in the season of Lent. Lent is a time that we prepare our hearts to celebrate Easter. You've heard me say that countless times during this season. And as we get closer to Easter, the, the texts that we look at are more and more intense. They're more difficult to deal with. They call us to greater levels of self-examination and sacrifice. This week is pretty tough. We're called to die. We're called to allow ourselves to die. Not physically, but to die to selfishness, to die to self-centeredness, to die to arrogance and pride, to die to all of the things that keep us from following Jesus. One of the texts for this coming Sunday is from John chapter 12. He says this, uh, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains just a grain. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Jesus was talking about himself dying and rising and bearing incredible fruit for the kingdom of God and for uh, bringing people to faith. He's also talking about us because he goes on to talk about how we need to follow him in that process of dying to self. If we hold on tight to all of the things that we think make life important and meaningful, we'll end up losing the things that really are truly important and wonderful. Let go of them. Trust God to provide for your needs and he will lead you and guide you. Our gospel text from John chapter 12, verse 20 to 33 is a powerful one. Please take a look at that during this week in your devotional times. The second lesson from Hebrews chapter 5, verses 5 to 10 is an interesting text. It talks about a fellow named Melchizedek, a strange, strange combination of priest and ancient king over the city of Salem, which later became Jerusalem. He was believed to be somehow immortal or at least mysterious enough that nobody was sure what happened to him. He was accepting offerings from Abraham. That was incredibly meaningful to people in Jesus' day because that meant that he was over the old covenant. Hebrews calls Jesus a prophet after the order of Melchizedek. Jesus came to make another way, a way that would actually work for us to come to God. Lent then, this Sunday in Lent, we look at our lives. What are we holding on to so tightly that we can't let go of them, that we can't trust God to care for us? We invite you to join us in worship this week. We uh, would truly love to have you here. And I truly would love to have you look at these texts during the week. I'll post the references below just so you have it in writing there. Find what God has for you in this text. And then join us on Sunday and see how it all fits together. Blessings and peace be with you. Thank you so much for being with us in worship and in our ministry here together at Trinity Lutheran.